All right, so we're going to do some stuff. We're going to do some stuff. Uh, we're going to set this height to auto. And let's add some... Let me add a container. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Add a container. Uh, I want this container full width. What? Ugh, this, okay, I don't want that anymore. I don't know why there's that space. Oh, there's that space because of this guy. Okay, cool. Uh, center. Okay, so we have a container, and in this container we have, like, rich text. Okay, so, um, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, I know what I'm doing. I promise. Alright, so this container, we're going to set it to relative because we're going to have a sticky inside of it. So we have a div, and this one is position sticky. So sticky, no, what? Yeah, okay, so position sticky, and I was gonna say like um, 60 from the, no, has to be longer. So the container two, hold on, I'm setting up, I'll explain soon, I promise. Okay, so sticky works, hold on. Okay, there we go, all right. So, I set this container, to have like a ridiculous height of like 500 VH because I need some sort of like railroad tracks to tell me how far along does the train run, right? And so the train is actually the sticky position. So once I start scrolling down, this sticks and it'll continue to stick until there's no more train tracks. Train tracks being the container too right here, all right? so. Here, let me just rename it to train track so you'll follow my analogy. Train track. All right. So choo choo goes the train. Sticky, we call this the train. We're going with this analogy. All right. So we're putting the train on the train. Tra oh my God, sorry. We're putting the train inside of the train tracks. Choo choo. All right, and so it's going, it's going. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. Uh-oh, no more train tracks. So the train needs to stop. Okay, so then we go back up, and then we're just riding the train backwards. Choo-choo. Until we're done with the train tracks. Okay? All right, so we have the train. And now, so we need to put, let's put something in the train. All right, let's put some cargo. Um, mm, what do I want to put? So I want to put another div, and we're going to call this cargo. <laughs> we're going all in on this analogy. <laughs> so in this, this cargo, let's go ahead and set this width to be uh, the same height, er, the same, we'll give the width the same height. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the train tracks has a height, I feel like I'm doing a math problem. So the train tracks has a height of 500 VH. I want to set this cargo to have a width of 500 VH. Okay, so, um, oh, I can't scroll left and right? Okay, cool, why is that? Okay, but this train, I wanna make sure it has position, or. Er, overflow hidden because I don't want to see that massive wide cargo. I want to, I want to mask it. All right. So let's put stuff in the cargo. Um, I'm wondering if flex is the way to go. I'm going to put a div here. We're going to call this, um, uh, cargo item. Let's make it white. Let's give it some border radius of like five. And let's just margin, there we go. And then a width of um, nothing, just like that. 
and then a, expand it and then a height of 500. Okay, cool. And so now that I have cargo item, let's just make more items. So copy, paste, paste, paste it. Okay, something like that. Okay, cool. Yeah? Hmm. So now that we have set that up, I want to move them left and right based on my scroll position. Okay? So now I'm going to go to my train. Okay? And I'm going to give it a element trigger of while scrolling in view. Select action, play scroll animation. Plus in horizontal scroll. All right. So this cargo is what I'm going to move left and right. So I'm going to move this 0% of itself at the beginning. And then at the end, I want it to move negative 100, which is to the left percent. Or should it be? Let's let it peak for a little bit. So we'll say 90%, all right? And so now, if I scroll up and down, train's moving. Oh, wow. How come it stopped already? That's weird. Did he do the right thing? Oh, no, it's not supposed to be train. It's supposed to be on train tracks. Okay, simple enough. I can just remove the element trigger there and add it to train tracks. Preview. There we go. Choo, choo, train. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Cool. And now how to do that progression bar is I'm just going to add it inside of the train. So let's go here, add a div, which is under cargo, uh, train progression, push this away, and then we'll give it a height of five, border radius of three, and give this a background color of black. Um, and it's all about just width. And so what I can do is on the train tracks, with the scrolling in view, all I have to do is target train progression and set the size. So I'm setting the size at 0%. The width of it is 0%. Uh, there we go. So 0% for all elements with this class, which is that one. And then at 100%, I'm going to set the size to 100% on the width down here. Okay? And so if I preview, there you go. Choo choo. And so you can play around with the timing of this, but that's the basics of it. So just to recap, uh, you add your train tracks, which is like you're saying, this is how far the train is going to go. And then inside of there, you have your train or the thing with position sticky. Um, and then inside of the train, you put your cargo, whatever you want to put that um, is going to scroll left and right. And then after that, you have your train progression. And you set that to be uh, with 0% to 100%. Uh, if you if you want to see a better tutorial of this, it's in my channel, Horizontal Scrolling. Um, just search for it. But yeah, that's how you do the drain. <laughs>